Maker, you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. We owe the court one more show, Your Grace. Inquisitor. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Selene, Gaspard, the entire council of heralds, all your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining, but you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. I did not wish to, but it seems I have no choice. Gaspard, you cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspar? You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private, elsewhere. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you, you knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent, and failing? Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. I wouldn't have caught Florian in time without Briala's help. You were working together? Of course. We have the note to your general ordering him to move troops covertly into the palace grounds. It was a defensive choice. I expected betrayal here, just not by my own sister. Keep talking, Gaspard. Eventually you'll convince somebody. There were also the threats Gaspard made to the Council of Heralds to bully them into giving him the crown. <laughs> Gaspard is a bully. Is that the worst you can say of me? And his mercenary captain will be happy to tell you all their plans for the coup tonight. Briala found all of this out for your sake, Celine. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. I think Ambassador Briala deserves some reward for uncovering all this. I can scarcely believe you did all this for me, Celine. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life, and Orlé owes you its future. You have done so much, for my people and for us. We won't forget this. It was my pleasure. The two of you deserve to be happy. We truly are. Come. Stand with us, Inquisitor. We must give the good news to the nobility. Lords and ladies of the court, 
This is a night for celebration. Those who sought to poison our empire with treason have been brought to justice. It is a new age for Orlé. We shall build a world in which all men and women live in harmony. Let the cornerstone of change be laid. I introduce the newest member of our court, Marquise Briala of the Dales. This is not just a victory in Halam Shiral, or within the Empire, or even for elves alone. This is a triumph for everyone! Over a thousand years ago in the Valerian fields, elves and humans together defeated the Imperium. We can do so much more now. We are greater than our ancestors ever dreamed. Together, we will start by saving our world from the enemy who took the Divine and tore the sky apart. It will take all of us to defeat the enemy threatening our world. We are already tracking these Tevinter agents. Soon they'll have no place to hide. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, we celebrate our newfound fellowship. Let the festivities commence! <laughs> The Grand Duchess is the assassin. Don't let her anywhere near the Empress. Duchess? At once, Inquisitor. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. Lords and ladies, as a nation, we mourn our sons and daughters, brothers and sisters. Friends and lovers claimed by war. The sky is torn open. Our divine is dead. And many fear the end of all things comes upon us. Orle must stand as a bastion. A bulwark behind which all Fedas may take shelter. So has it stood for a thousand years. So shall it ever stand. This would not have been possible without the efforts of many. Dear cousin. Please step forward. Grand Duchess, stand down. Now! Poor Corypheus, kill them all! Yes, Inquisitor. Beaten at every turn. You've taken the moment of my victory and left me in disgrace. And now you've chased a defenseless woman into the garden. Are you proud of yourself? You were about to murder the Empress. We both know you're not defenseless. True, you never were one to fall for my helpless damsel act. The night is still young. All I need to recover is to kill you, Inquisitor. So good of you to attend my soiree. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you, you knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent, and failing. Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Your captain tells me you spent all night sneaking mercenaries into the palace, Gaspard. You intended to attack. And where did your troops come from, Inquisitor? 
If sneaking men into the palace is damning, then we are both damned. I found your knife on the dead body of a Council of Herald's emissary in the palace. The Council will not overlook such a horrendous crime, cousin. It would be a horrendous crime, if it were true. But I have done no such thing. By all means, continue to protest your innocence, Gaspar. We find this performance endlessly fascinating. Here. I have the letter Gaspard penned to his general, ordering his men into position inside the palace. Can you blame me? Considering what transpired, preparing to repel an attack was the course of wisdom. We've all heard enough to damn the Grand Duke. Thank you, Inquisitor. There can be no doubt of your treason, Gaspar. No. It seems there cannot. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. You have enough proof to dissolve his support for the throne, Your Majesty. You don't need to take his life. As a favor to you, Inquisitor, I will let him live. Gaspar, you are hereby banished from the Empire on pain of death. Is that all? You're too kind, Céline. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life, and Orlé owes you its future. You have done a service for the Empire never to be forgotten, my friend. This piece is your doing. You truly are the instrument of Andraste. Orle will never forget your part in this, nor will I. Lords and ladies of the court, the civil war which has plagued us is at an end. The Orlesian Empire is whole again. Those who drove us into war for selfish gain have been dealt with as traitors. Gaspard de Chalon is guilty of treason. He is no longer our cousin and shall never again hold title or land in Orlé. We have lost enough. No more! Now, we can move forward to healing and restoration. In our hour of need, the Inquisition has faced these dangers beside us. It is the honor of Orlé to stand with Andraste's herald to end this crisis. And in ages to come, our children and grandchildren can say that we left them a brighter world. Will you address the court, my friend? Our enemy is clever. He manipulated the highest ranking members of the court. If we want victory, we will have to fight him in more ways than one. We of the court must use our resources. Not every battle is won on the field. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, feast, my friends. Enjoy our victory. There will be many more to come. The Duchess will assassinate Celine personally. Wait for her to strike, then grab her. As you command. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. My friends, we have lost much. We have each seen a child, a lover, a friend consigned to the flames. The darkness has closed in around us. But even now, there is light. We must be that light. We must lead our people safely through these troubled times. We must be their guiding star. Tonight, the war dividing us must end. My friends, we are here to witness a historic moment. A great change is coming for all of us. Isn't that right, Gaspar? Florian! What have you done? Don't be coy. It went just as we planned. I did this for you, brother. Me? 
Have you gone mad? No, not Gaspard. You did this for Corypheus. What a terrible guest you are, interrupting your host. <laughs> I should thank you. You played your part marvelously. Both Celine and Gaspard destroyed in a single blow. The Council of Heralds would devour each other. And while they do, Corypheus will come. His army will march on Orlais straight from the depths of a nightmare, and all Thedas will fall. What a pity you won't live to see any of it. You don't think I came this far without an escape plan? Your death will be the crowning jewel of my victory tonight. So good of you to attend my soiree. Wasting your time trying to stir the nobility against me. We are at war. I hardly have to stir them at all. Your sister murdered Celine. Everyone saw it. You're a traitor by association. What do you hope to gain, Rabbit? You can't claim Celine's empty throne for yourself. Maybe not. But I can keep it from you. You're done meddling, Briala. Gaspard will be the Emperor. You think you can keep him in power? Really? Will you sit by his throne and hold his hand to fend off the accusations of the court? I found a servant who can attest that you and the Empress were intimate at the time she purged Halim Shiral's alienage. If that were to get out, I don't see your allies standing with you for long. I see. The important thing right now is for the Empire to have stability. You think you did this for the good of all ill? This is a grab for power. A child could see that. The game is over, Rabbit. You played well, but you lost. Your death today will bring years of security to the Empire. Come, my friend. You and I should address the court. We all owe you our lives, Inquisitor. I will remember that. You've been a friend. I am not a man who forgets his friends. Stand with me. We should speak to the people Together. <laughs> and so, the crown falls to me. This is not the victory I hoped for. I wanted this moment filled with song, not with sorrow. But I have always been a soldier. As every soldier knows, the difference between defeat and victory is how it is named. An enemy has struck the Empire in its very heart. As your Emperor, I promise justice. Orlais will not allow such atrocities, corruption, deceit, murder, to go unchallenged. We will face this Corypheus. He will know the wrath of the Lion. We will fight shoulder to shoulder with the Inquisition. Together, we will send our enemy to the Maker's judgment. With your help, we will end this crisis and restore peace to Thedas. We have much work ahead, but that is for another day. Tonight, be at ease. Rest and prepare yourselves for the battle ahead. Wasting your time trying to stir the nobility against me. We are at war. 
I hardly have to stir them at all. Your sister murdered Celine. Everyone saw it. You're a traitor by association. What do you hope to gain, Rabbit? You can't claim Celine's empty throne for yourself. Maybe not. But I can keep it from you. With everything I've found on Gaspard, I'm sure Briala can effectively rule the Empire. <laughs> I doubt anything in the world, let alone inside the palace, could put the rabbit in power. The testimony of the Ferelden mercenary you hired to stage a coup, tonight, might be enough. How much weight do you imagine the word of a cell sword carries with the court? The word of a mercenary willing to speak out against a Grand Duke? You know exactly what that's worth. We also know of the threats you issued to the Council of Heralds. You've made your point. What are your demands? Don't worry, Your Majesty. You'll find you can endure them. So what are your demands? You must have something planned. The Elves of Orle will make great gains under our new Emperor. Wait and see. I'm not about to forget your part in this. The Inquisition will have all the support I can raise. I promise. The Elves of Orle have a future. For the first time in centuries. If only Celine. My people will find a way to repay you. I promise you. You don't need to repay me. I pay my debts, Inquisitor. But we're keeping our new Emperor waiting. Go give the nobility the good news. Lords and ladies of the court, it is done. This was not the end any of us would have chosen, but the civil war is over. We stand here as proof of the Empire's fortitude. Our enemies must learn that Ole shall not fall to treachery. We will never surrender our Empire. We shall teach them the finality of this truth with steel. With the Inquisition, we will drive the demons back into the Fade. The Maker himself could not protect them from the wrath of the Lion. Stand with me and become the saviors of a grateful world. Gather your soldiers, my friends. The Empire marches to war. Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. We owe the court one more show, Your Grace. Inquisitor. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Celine, Gaspard, the entire council of heralds, all your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining, but you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. I did not wish to, but it seems I have no choice. Gaspard, you cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspard?
At least this time, justice will be swift. Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private, elsewhere. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent and failing. Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Every one of you is implicated. You all conspired to allow this to happen. That's a bold claim, Inquisitor. Are you prepared to defend it? You allowed the Grand Duke to sneak soldiers in, hoping he'd make a politically foolish move. That's duplicitous. Even for you, Celine. You took the bait. I met your mercenary captain, Your Grace. He says you are ready to attack tonight. Clever move. If you were trying to get hanged for treason. And Briallo was playing both of you. She murdered your ambassadors and sent you each forged letters. Even if I did, you can't touch me. No one will defend you once it's revealed that you and Celine were lovers when she burned Halam Shiral's alienage. You've made your point. What do you want? You are three of the best minds in the Empire. You could do so much for Orlais and your people if you stopped fighting. It is remarkably... optimistic to believe that the three of us could ever forget our differences, Inquisitor. I cannot believe you want to make a speech. This is foolish. We have no choice. The nobility requires an answer for what happened. <laughs> Unless you want to pretend the war was all a dream. That would go over well. No more dithering. We make the cut swift and clean. Kindest to all of us. Lords and ladies of the court, we are pleased to announce that an accord has been reached. Our cousin Gaspar will now hold a place of honor in our cabinet. <laughs> Friends, we assembled are the leaders of the Empire. We must set the example for all Thedas. We cannot be at war with each other, while the Fade itself challenges our borders. We must stand united, or surely we will fall alone. There will be no second chance for us. We cannot afford to be divided. We will bury our dead, tend our wounded, and ready ourselves for the next charge, as all true Orlesians must. But tonight, we celebrate the arrival of peace. Let the festivities commence! <laughs> <laughs>